Hey man, think you've uh, played a little too much Valheim? I don't know what you're talking about. Welcome to Valheim, aka Viking Job Simulator. In this cross between Minecraft and Dark Souls, you play a Viking, trapped in some kind of purgatory, and your goal is to... uh... survive? But really, you can do whatever you want because, well, you're dead. This early access game from a small studio has become pretty popular. I mean, when all four people I know are playing the same game, I figure it might be worth checking out. Now these types of survival games, like Ark, shown here, aren't really my style. I find the gameplay loop of trying to stay alive by just eating and sleeping is a little too much like my normal day to day. But I've really lost myself in the world that Valheim has created, and here's why I think it's worth giving this game a shot. First off, everyone in Valheim gets their own unique world. My world is different than your world, it's different than their world. EVERYBODY GETS A WORLD! Obviously, they aren't totally different from one another, but they are in the sense that everything is laid out in a random order. Each of these massive worlds still have the same biomes, materials, and annoyingly excessive number of graylings, but it's still random in how things are put together, making your journey of exploration feel unique to you. You won't find a guide to tell you where on the map to find the best mining spots or where the bosses are even located. That's all up to you to discover and chart out on your own. And it's this sense of adventure into the unknown that makes you really feel like a Viking. Everything is just a sense of, ooh, what's over there? What new and possibly deadly thing is over that next hill or body of water that either I'm going to kill or is going to kill me? Aside from exploration, Valheim contains all the staples of a typical survival game. You start off basically naked and are given the goal of just trying to stay alive. Where Valheim excels is that the survival elements of the game aren't so important that it consumes all of the fun. It's more survival light. Yes, there's eating and sleeping and you can suffer various weather effects, but you aren't stuck in a constant state of panic like other games where you have to worry about this stuff or you'll just die. If you don't eat, your stamina will be low and your health will just drop to a certain point and stay there until you decide to chow down. The incentive to find food and stuff your face comes from the fact that by doing so, it'll make navigating this massive world a lot easier by upping your stats. It's a reward, not a punishment. With how Valheim is structured, it doesn't feel like there's a right or wrong way to play it. Would you rather spend a couple hours trying to build a canal for slightly faster sailing routes that you may only use once and never again? Go for it. Valheim don't care. Whether it's combat, construction, or crossfit, there is something here for you to enjoy. Speaking of combat, it is definitely another plus for Valheim. While not wildly sophisticated, there are block, dodge, and parry mechanics at play here that make combat feel like some skill is actually involved beyond spamming a single attack button. Got him. While there aren't many building options, if you're creative enough, you can make some pretty impressive stuff. Or you can watch your friends make impressive and cool stuff while you feel embarrassed that yours looks like a drawing a four-year-old would make. There are enough options here for now for you to experiment with and create a Viking home to your own taste. Whether you are building, fighting, or exploring, at some point you will have to do a combination of all of those in order to really progress through the game. But you will want to do this. You will want to venture into those harder zones to get better materials, to make cooler stuff so that you can go into even harder zones to get even cooler stuff. This is what's known in gaming as the perfect loop. Even though you're already dead, you can still perish in Valheim. Whether it's at the hands of new enemies or in more embarrassing ways, ooh, death isn't a game over, more of a minor setback. This is encouraging for when you are venturing out into new lands only to discover you are woefully unprepared for the new challenges that you need to overcome or avoid. There are many challenges that you will have to solve in Valheim that are fun and unique as they revolve less around combat, although there is that, and more around how am I going to get this copper from here to my base? These are the kinds of situations you're going to have fun trying to figure out for yourself, as there's no right answer. You do it how you feel it's best. The real fun of Valheim is seeing what you can come up with on your own, and being impressed with yourself and what you can create, from your first windowless hut to a multi-building base. While totally possible to enjoy on your own, Valheim does offer a different kind of multiplayer experience. Whether you play with one or, somehow, nine friends, each person can find their own sort of role to take on as you build your own little community. 
Some people may stay in the base and build it up and craft, while others run off to gather materials or explore, and then everyone can come together and tackle a challenging boss fight for a big collective win. The game even rewards you for playing how you want to play. There isn't a traditional leveling system here. Instead, you improve the skills that you use the most. So whether you're chopping wood, swinging swords, or punching boars, you will get naturally better at those things. This is a great way to do character progression, as it allows specialized roles within groups to develop more organically as people become experts at their chosen craft, even if that craft is boar punching. <laughs> There are plenty of things to look forward to in Valheim, like additional bosses, bigger servers, and more building options. I'm looking at you, square walls. With the insanely positive reception this game has had so far, it will be exciting to see how it continues to grow. Valheim is the type of game you can play for hours, only to realize that all you've really accomplished is mining some rocks and building parts of an uneven wall. This game is special, and for the like $20 that it costs, it is definitely worth checking out. Well, that's enough of me talking gaming today. I have to go massacre some more trees, so until next time.